What's up now? Rose Gold here. Back with another video and I check it out. So, Trump being arrested and all that extra goofy shit, people, is the distraction. Right? That's the distraction. Yes, it is. Trump arrest is the distraction on what's about to happen, people. Fed now. Now, you know I made a video the other day talking about Fed now and otherworldly news that you might not knew about. Now, like I said in that video, Fed now is to be dropping July 2023, right? And a lot of people are saying, you know, the scammers and stuff. Y'all ain't gonna be able to scam and things like that no more off no cash out. You know what I mean? Uh, Fed now, it's looking like this is to do away with money, you know, uh, to replace paper money. Put it like that. Um, Fed now will be all digital currency. Fed now actually compares its compares itself to Cash App. Ain't that something? And Mr. Cash App himself, what his name? Bob Lee. Uh, he ended up stabbed the other morning, people. The other day he was stabbed up. To Delph, right? Now, now that, now that, that comes as a surprise. It's very ironic, very strange, and a little weird. People, no coincidence. Understand me, that Mr. Cash App Man gets stabbed up to Delph, and Fed now is rolling it out. This Cash App replacement type shit. Damn, right? That shit crazy, people. Fox Business News says China president is Biden's daddy. Allegedly. Yes. Yes. China president is Biden's daddy. Now, when I hear stuff like that, or when I read stuff like that, that's very, uh, to be an American, that's, that's very, uh, you know, embarrassing to see this type of stuff coming from an American a news source. You know what I'm saying? They already say Biden got dementia and shit like that. And, you know, he need to sit his ass, his $5 ass down somewhere, right? Um, Yeah, he does the strangest shit. Biden does. Yes, he does. Um, When he's saying speeches, imp important speeches and shit, he be saying and doing weird ass shit. You know... America economy is going down, people. If you don't believe that, just stay tuned. Because you everybody will get a whiff of this in a, uh, by the time July come. Uh, Fed now is supposed to take over. So, I don't know if then, in July, it will completely eliminate money. You know, paper money. You know, the currency will be different as we know it type thing. Um, and if that's the case, then, you know, your working checks and things of that nature, it'll be rolled over to this new thing called Fed now. So you already know, people, this is a NWO type of stuff going on. Um, we are no longer at baby steps. We are here. Uh, when they say, oh, it's, we at the door. No, we didn't came in the door, people. We didn't sat down and ate. All right. We here. This is this is the future. Um, so Julius Malema states that Russian President Putin will not be arrested in South Africa. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, is Julius Malema the president of South Africa? Huh? Because whoever this guy is, he is very important. So excuse. Uh, forgive me if uh, he is the president and I did not know it. All right? But whoever he is, he, he's got some type of rank. Because right? he's, he's basically letting people know that the Russian president, Putin, will not be arrested in South Africa. After the International Criminal Court put out an arrest warrant for him, says he will be protected. So South Africa is rolling with Russia, people. And whoever's rolling with Russia, they rolling with China. And whoever's rolling with China, 
they rolling with Russia. And then all of them are going to be rolling together. You know what I'm saying? This shit is... <laughs> can't make this shit up. So, China makes major threat at the wrongdoing of United States and Taiwan collusion. So, you know, I've talked about this before. Um, China wanting Taiwan back. It's a part of China. Uh... And that's why they have animosity over there. And, and, of course, the United States has Taiwan's back. And then you have Russia wants Ukraine back. That's a part of their territory, people. And, of course, the United States has Ukraine back. And NATO and all of that good shit. But, see, that's the thing. China's not playing with Biden. Huh? Uh, Putin's definitely... Definitely not playing with Biden. You know, it's, it's just a bunch of crazy shit. So, in other words, people, you know, China made that major threat to the United States because they letting them know, they letting us know, people, our government know that, hey, this Taiwan, this is between me and Taiwan. Now, Taiwan and bring y'all in this, but you can get it too. That's the way I'm looking at the people, right? Okay. Now, Japan is over there building shelters. And the only reason why I can, you know, it's like common sense of what's going on. They over there building shelters. So I'm pretty sure they like bomb shelters, nuclear shelters and shit. I'm pretty sure they ain't no regular type of shelter. Uh, like a tornado shelter. No, 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 no. This is going to be some explosion shelters. People, they know something we don't know. Well, we should know. You know what I'm saying? Yes, World War III can happen any any day, for real. World War III can jump off any day, any night. That shit, that's how serious we are at uh, on, on what's going on across the globe, all right? So, yes, people, they over there building them damn shelters, all right? Um, now, in other news, you can now carry a gun without a permit or training in Florida. And some more states have done this, too. And I, I think that is so ridiculous for them to let anybody get a weapon, even if you don't even know how to shoot the damn thing without any training, no permit, you know, just... What are they getting ready? What, what are they getting the people ready for? Huh? They getting the people ready for a shootout or something, allegedly, because something's about to happen. It's, 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 it's going to happen. It's inevitable, right? You can't stop this shit. Only person can stop this shit is the almighty God. And even when God stops this shit, uh, it's still going to be disaster. You know what I'm saying? Um, and, you know, they have to have all this chaos to bring in, you know, peace. You know what I'm saying? So this, this shit is crazy, people. Uh, new reports reveal alarming updates on Chinese spy balloons. Now, when we were seeing them spy balloons, you know, and, and China was trying to say they was weather balloons, but the uh, United States said, no, they're spy balloons. And it was like three or four of them or some shit. They had to shoot them down, people. And uh, these spy balloons, they got our information. Now, whatever those spy balloons was floating over and shit like that, they they got, they picked up information. That I, Shit, I've said that. When, when we first heard about this shit. Yeah, they, they got their chance to scan shit. And as soon as they scan the shit, guess what? It's going straight to the database in China. So, they about could see everything it was seeing. The balloon was seeing. So, I mean, whoever felt like that wasn't a spy balloon or they didn't get some type of information from over here and, and then... Ironically, it's floating over nuclear weapon areas and shit of that nature. Like, come on, stop it. Stop it. What type of technology is that, though? Like, you know what I'm saying? What's, <laughs> what's up with that shit, right? We living in a crazy world, people. So, news reports reveal alarming updates on Chinese spy balloons. So, I just went over that, people. And, of course, they got our information, whatever information they was looking for. Okay, now, Moscow headquarters is on fire. In Russia, um, 
I don't know if it's still on fire, but it was on fire, people. Uh, it could be possibly still on fire. Uh, nukes have been moved. Gold rises. USD market crash. New virus spreading. So these are some of the things that are going on, people, like nukes being moved. Uh, Russia is moving nukes and shit to certain areas. Uh, I guess they're getting ready for their aim. I mean, what other way to put it, people? Like, they're moving nukes, and they're making it a big thing about this. Uh, you know, United States news outlets are making it a big thing. Because it is a big thing. Because where they moved it to, it's like, oh, why that? Because they getting ready. Like, this shit is getting scary, too. Um, uh, gold rises. Yeah, right. gold is, you know, it's good to have silver, too. But your main focus is going to be gold, all right? Uh, when people talking about, well, you can buy fractions of this and that. If you going to buy some shit, it, you better buy gold. Silver cool, too, don't get me wrong. <laughs> it's best to have any type of precious metal you can have, but I'm just saying. When you're making your choices, make them wisely, because gold will be worth more. You see what I'm saying? Gold is high as hell right now, all right? Uh, USD market crash, you know. Um, now, when you're talking about stocks and shit like that, the market crashing, um, I always think about people with 401ks and you know, those, uh, you know, mutual funds and shit like that. Because that's what they do. That's what that shit is. It's uh, money for you, you know, whenever you retire and shit. But it's in, they put it in different stocks. Most of the time, you can't even pick what stock your shit in. They're doing it. They're gambling with your money. You know, money you put in there and they match uh, type shit. So, got to be careful with that type shit, people. You, you know, shit. I, you know, I'm not a financial advisor, but the way things are going, you know, it is what it is. I'll be taking some shit out. But, you know, if you want to let it in there, that's, leave it in there. That's fine as well, too. People do it however you feel you should do. Like I said, I'm not a financial advisor, so I don't advise anybody to do that. Just, you know, talk to, talk to a professional. Now, USD market crash. Then we got new virus spreading. You know what I'm saying? It's shit crazy now. When they talking about new virus, um, hopefully they talking about the one that's in these hospitals because I, I haven't heard about a, a newer one than that. You know, so that's what I'm thinking about when they when people are talking about this new virus is spreading. Um, it's that uh, can candida something, and th this shit is just crazy. Like we we are for real living in hell. You know what I'm saying? It's some crazy ass shit, people. All right. Now, students nationwide hold walkouts to demand stricter gun laws. Shout out to those brave, courageous students nationwide uh, holding walkouts to demand stricter gun laws. You know, they want to be safe when they go to school, people. That's what's up. I hope some parents was, was out there as well uh, supporting their children, man. Um, if it was me, though, I wouldn't even let my child go to school. Like, we, would, we, would, we had to do something else. Had to do something else. Can't trust no damn school uh, with all the drug and it's a lot of uh, <clears throat> a lot of junkies that go to school, middle schools, you know, shit like this. Uh, you know, it's crazy. Got to revive you at a middle school, people, with Narcan because they didn't overdose and shit. The fuck, man. People got issues. So that's you know uh, that's a little update on that. Now Texas students protest gun violence. They protesting and, and nationwide. It ain't just Texas. It's nationwide, people. It's nationwide. So then you got, so Trump, so this is my point of this video. Remember, Trump pleading guilty to 34 counts of falsifying business records, etc., 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 is all a distraction. That shit right there, a distraction. Because a lot of people, uh, when they go back and forth with this, as far as like senators and stuff like that, and, and real big, you know, news outlets, uh, Bloomberg and shit like that. See, this shit, they're basically saying this is probably good for Donald Trump. Some people will say this is good for Donald Trump. They just walked him dead into the next presidency. You know what I'm saying? Um, I know they don't want President Trump back in office. That's for damn sure. We all should know that. But 
uh, he'll probably become president again. I have no idea. It depends on what his outcome will be with this, with what he got going on right now. But will it matter uh, who's the president at that time when it switches over? I don't believe it's going to matter. People, I could bet my bottom dollar it's not going to matter who's in there, right? It's not about who's in there, people. All right? Remember that. <clears throat> it ain't even about that. So, so just remember, Trump, that Trump shit, that's all a distraction, people. Because we got oil and gas prices. Oil and gas prices are rising again. You know, uh, NASA announces crew for Artemis II mission uh, orbiting the moon for the first time in 50 years. Now, what they need to do that for? I believe they're trying to orbit the moon. First time in 50 years. Why now, though? Especially, it got to make you think and make you wonder what the hell they up to. Because it's like all this shit going on and now y'all want to go around the damn moon. And it's actually a black man. It's a black man out of these people that's going. I think it's like four individuals. is a woman and like three guys. And one of the guys is black. Ain't that something? Uh, so Fed now. People are saying Fed now equals goodbye to freedom. Because this is really going to track you. See, they can track you with paper money too. But this is going to be a more extensive track. Your ass. On uh, any type of money transactions. It's going to be way easier because this shit is digital and shit. You know what I'm saying? It's just some, it's just some weird shit. Weird shit, people. And I ain't ready for that shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Trump tells his citizens to drop down and pray. Right? Over nuclear fears. People are praying to Trump. Like I said in, in that video about world uh, worldwide events and things of that nature. They were actually making, you know, they had a lot of viral videos of, of, of Trump supporters praying to Trump. And, and, and it comes to find out it's over nuclear fears. They fear that we're going to go to war. You know, because Trump has already uh, exposed Biden on what he's doing, allegedly, as far as, yeah, we're, you you going to send America into a damn World War Three? Yeah, boy, you're out there, you don't know half the time where your ass at, and you're going to send us to a World War Three. See, when Trump was in office, they wasn't, China and shit like that, they weren't playing with Trump like they played with Biden. Uh-uh. I, I believe Trump had it under control, bro. But it's just the, uh, you know, the power is to the people, of course. But, you know, look who we got in office, though, bro. Like, come on, man. <laughs> I'd rather have Trump in office, bro, than Biden. I'm just saying. Who else going to get in there, too? Who wants to? Man, ain't nobody got time, bro. That's why I don't vote. Because there's never somebody I want to vote for. Even when Obama got in there, it didn't make me want to vote for him. Especially when I found out down the line, he's some kin to, to uh, uh, some of those presidents previously. You know? Like, come on, man. Stop it. So, people, this is all a game. Um, so, and they're trying to say global depression. Global depression by 2025. All right? I believe it's going to come before that. Um... It might hit some of us sooner than that with this Fed now July shit going on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That shit crazy. So, and then another thing about that, the Fed now program, Fed now service, that's what they call it. Uh, supposed to launch out in July 2023. And it's like, why are people just not hearing about this? I know it's been out there, but I haven't seen it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just now blowing up, blowing up, though. You know what I mean? And everybody's getting to talk about it, especially after Mr. Cash App got stabbed up to them. You know what I'm saying? Then they didn't took over. Like, what? Damn. All right, so I guess you won't even need Cash App. Like, I don't know, people. This shit's crazy. So, Africa choose China over America. Yes, they did. Mm -hmm. Saudi Arabia, India. Yes, yeah, it's, it's quite a few places have have chosen China over over America, people. That right there is some serious shit. You know, especially when you living in America. And it seems like everybody has their nukes pointed at us, so to speak. You know what I mean? Everybody got their finger, you know what I'm saying, doing this. You know? That's crazy, people. Now, Putin. 
Vladimir Putin, president of Russia. Putin cancels Africa's debts worth over $20 billion in, uh, in United States money. Huh? $20 billion. And Putin has canceled their debts. That is a very big deal because you know what? They're, they ain't trying to do shit, people. They are letting the United States know that you are out here by yourself and you are naked. Huh? You are naked. And everybody sees you naked. And everybody's pointing and laughing at you, America, because you are naked. Of course America will fight back. When have they never not fought back? That's not the point. So don't be in my comments talking about, oh, man, United States got, they got this and they got that. I don't give a damn about that. They are putting the people at risk because they out here playing chess mixed with checkers. All right? They playing chess and checkers. And and it looking like America is losing people. Uh, America is getting laughed at because at the end of the day, you never want to go to war with China mixed in with other people too, other countries and other governments as well. Huh? This shit crazy. Now, what if Taiwan and Ukraine turn their back on America and Taiwan go ahead and join back up with China and Ukraine go ahead and join up with uh back up with Russia? They don't have to fight for it no more. These are last days, people. All right? All jokes aside. These are last days. So get yourself in order. Get your house in order, people. That was just a little update on what's going on and to let you people know, guess what? This Trump shit is the distraction. All right? Message.